In this video, we're going to look at an example of matrix multiplication. Specifically, here, we're asked to multiply A times B, where A is a 4 by 3 matrix and B is a 3 by 2 matrix. So we know when we multiply a 4 by 3 times a 3 by 2, because the number of columns of A is the same as the number of rows of B, we'll be able to do the multiplication, and the resulting matrix will be 4 by 2, because it's going to have the same number of rows as A does, and the same number of columns as B does. So hopefully you've already had a look at some simpler matrix multiplications. For example, there's a video on 2 by 2 matrix multiplication, and there's also information in the lecture hall as well, where you can read about how to do matrix multiplication. Just as a quick reminder, in order to find entry IJ in the product matrix AB, we're multiplying row I of matrix A by column J of matrix B and adding the results. So go ahead, try this out. Remember your resulting matrix is going to be a 4 by 2 matrix and we'll continue once you're done. So let's go ahead and have a look at the solution. What we want to find is matrix AB and of course order of multiplication does matter. So what we have is the matrix A times the matrix B. So now let's go ahead and do the multiplication. So remember, we're going to be expecting a 4 by 2 matrix. So our first step then is to find the entry 1, 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply row 1 of A by column 1 of B. So what we get then is 3 times 2 plus 5 times 7 plus 9 times 0. Next, in order to find entry 2, 1, we multiply row 2 of A by column 1 of B. So we're going to get 2 times 2 plus 1 times 7 plus 3 times 0. Next, in order to find entry 3, 1, we multiply row 3 of A by column 1 of B. And again, I'm not highlighting or circling the columns at this point just because it's going to get a little bit messy because it's going to be too much circling and too much color in order to actually specify which row we're working with. But again, we're working with row 3 of matrix A and column 1, the one that's currently highlighted, of matrix B. So what we get is negative 1 times 2 plus 2 times 7 plus 0 times 0. For the last row, so here we're dealing with entry 4, 1, we have row 4 of A times column 1 of B, so we get 7 times 2 plus 0 times 7 plus 6 times 0. So that completes column 1 of the product matrix AB. In order to find the second column of our matrix AB, what we have to do next is first find entry 1, 2. So here we're still dealing with the first row of matrix A, but now we're dealing with the second column of matrix B. So it's the row that's highlighted in A times the column that's now circled in B. So let's go ahead and work this out. We have 3 times 3 plus 5 times negative 1 plus 9 times negative 4. Going on to entry 2, 2, Second row of A times second column of B, so we've got 2 times 3 plus 1 times negative 1 plus 3 times negative 4. For entry 3, 2, we're dealing with the third row of A, second column of B, so we've got negative 1 times 3 plus 2 times negative 1 plus 0 times negative 4. And last entry, so entry 4, 2, we're working with the fourth row of A and the second column of B. So we have 7 times 3 plus 0 times negative 1 plus 6 times negative 4. So now we've done the hard part. All that's left is simply to do the arithmetic and work out our final answers. So in entry 1, 1, we've got 6 plus 35 plus 0, so that's 41. In entry 2, 1, we've got 4 plus 7 plus 0, so that's 11. In entry 3, 1, we've got negative 2 plus 14 plus 0, so that's 12. 
and in entry 4, 1, we've got 14 plus 0 plus 0, so that's just 14. Now for the second column, in entry 1, 2, we've got 9 minus 5 minus 36, so that's negative 32. In entry 2, 2, we've got 2 times 3, so 6 minus 1 minus 12, so that's equal to minus 7. In entry 3, 2, we've got minus 3 minus 2 plus 0, so that's negative 5. And in entry 4, 2, we've got 21 plus 0 minus 24, so that's negative 3. So we end up with our resulting matrix AB, which is, as expected, a 4 by 2 matrix. And again, to multiply matrices, we do what we always do, which is in order to find entry IJ in the product matrix AB, we simply work with the ith row of A and the jth column of B, multiplying and adding up along those.